will upon public confession of their faith, Christopher and Nikita stand before all of us here today just as pure and accepted by God as Adam and Eve were in the garden before original sin ever took place. This is key because if we understand what it means for a follower of Jesus to come into union with him and they become a new person, their old person has passed away, behold, they become new. If we understand that, then we've got a glimpse of what's gonna happen here today. We once knew Christopher as Christopher, we once knew Nikita as Nikita, but today they're gonna become a new creation in our sight. God is gonna take these two individuals and make them one. They're going to become Chris Kita, if you will. <laughs> From this day forward, I declare, we shall be one. Amen. Turn back and face me. May I have the rings, please? Thank you. These are beautiful. Uh, they're made out of precious metal. Nikita's has beautiful diamonds in it. And um, I want these to become symbolic for the two of you. They're, first, it's a circle. Can't tell where it starts. Can't tell where it ends. Just like you guys probably can't remember when your love became something that was not just an experience of love, but forever love. And I uh, just want you to take this Nikita. Uh, as you're taking I want this to be a symbol that when you look at that, that that's a reminder that that's a shield of faith. Every time you look at your husband's hands, I want you to remember that you guys have this shield of faith that's able to quench every fiery dart of the wicked one. Uh, if anybody would be against this union, it would be Satan. He doesn't care if you shack up, doesn't care if you hang out, doesn't care what you do, but the moment that you enter into a covenant, say that we're taking a stand we're going to be a godly family we're going to be a model to the world of what Jesus love looks like to the church what the church's love looks like for Jesus and he takes that personally but don't worry you have a shield of faith which is able to quench every fiery dart I want you to turn and put that on his hand where the watch is when we talked about that <laughs> and Christopher ring can represent a shield of faith, yours forever will. God forbid it can also represent a shackle. Too many married couples forget the way you guys stand today. She's not behind you. She's not in front of you. She's by your side. This is your joint heir in the grace of life. There was a time when God would give you grace to be whole and complete in your union with him alone. Now he gives a portion of grace to her, a portion of grace to you. In the same way the two of you created something incredible in Carson, God wants to use you to reproduce his dreams in the earth now. She's your joint there. Don't ever let that ring represent a shackle. Don't ever let it be a place of bondage. Let it be a place of freedom, a place of power, a place of faith, a place of hope, a place of love for one another. Every time you look at that ring, remember, I'm not putting her in bondage with me. She's always going to be more God's daughter than she is my wife. I'm going to honor her and reverence her as that. So with that, would you put that ring next to that incredible engagement ring that you got for her? <laughs> you good? <laughs> uh, Nikita, the moment we first spoke on the phone for two hours, because I like to talk, uh, I knew you were the missing piece to my triangle of love. God be in the top, I'll be in the right, and you be in the left. In order to prepare myself for our love, I had to first develop my own relationship with God. He prepared me, and now I'm confident to lead this family. As I grew, uh, as we grew into courting, I've learned so much about you. How caring, how loving, how nurturing you are. And also how much you always put God first. And because of that, I've grown to understand the depth of your strength and the will behind your power. I vow to always uh, help you see life as God has intended for you to. I vow to always lead this family with God's grace. I vow through sickness and health, and rich or poor, rich being capitalized, <laughs> uh, to always be by your side. I vow to always 
live within God's word. And as we end this engagement and embark on oneness, <laughs> I said I like to talk. <laughs> uh, he who finds a wife finds a good thing, and I love you. <laughs>